All right. Hey, everyone. Hi. Thanks for your patience. I um, did the silly thing about sitting here with it being on there and everything, and then I didn't push go live. <laughs> How funny is that? You know, I mean, hello. <laughs> you have to push the go live, Mary. So it is Friday, you guys. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful in our Pacific Northwest. It is so lovely. And those of you that are here, I will be here in just a second to be able to say hello as soon as this expands out. I'm sorry that I forgot to push go live. <laughs> My Facebook is kind of bogged down here. I'm sorry. Hope you guys are all doing well. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Linda. Thanks for uh, hanging in with my uh, technical problems here. Hello, Susan and Brenda. I tell you, I uh, was going, oh, having trouble with getting it to do its thing and all of that, and then realized, um, hello, I am um, forgot to uh, push go live. So you know how that goes. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> but it is Friday. It's a different time. Um, week for me. Hey, Char from Wisconsin. I love how you always tell me you're from Wisconsin, Miss Char. <laughs> how are you doing? Um, I know places were like getting snow. Where was that? I think it was my, um, thanks, Char. I think it was uh, Sherry Miller, if I'm not mistaken. She had a, put a thing on and it was, okay, you need to go away. No, you need to go away. I have this box. Sorry. Okay. It's like I've never done this before. So, Miss Brenda, I hope you're doing well. And oh my gosh, I wish I had it. I didn't bring it down here. You guys, Miss Brenda um, sent me a card and she sent me a cute little gift. I'll have to have it for next time. I'm sorry I didn't bring it downstairs. It's on my little window ledge in the kitchen. It is the cutest little gnome dressed all in like a bee's bees costume with honey and stuff it is so so cute yeah that's great Shar. that your weather's getting good our weather's getting good here too we're having a little heat wave that's going to be happening got into the 70s today and super sunny 80s tomorrow and even maybe even getting to the 90s so yikes we're going to have a little barbecue here on sunday and um we don't have our big um oh, cover over cover what do you ever want to call it? Tent thing we put. Hello, Maria, you found. Oh, you're back in Michigan. <laughs> um, how is that Michigan weather? Yeah, so crazy stuff, our weather. But now I think we're heading to summer. We're heading to summer, I think, which is good. So I hope you guys are doing well this Friday. It's so funny that it's Friday and not Wednesday, but I had an after work thing I had to do, so... Um, it was going to be today, and today's a great day because I have got some great ideas to share with you. So I'm going to put my book down where I write down you guys. And I'm going to go ahead and get the camera switched over. Let me transition. Oh, everything is so... There we go. Finally did it. <laughs> oh, and it did it back. Oh my gosh. Transition. Thank you. Ooh. <laughs> well, I have some little cards to share with you guys. Um, my um, mailbox has had a couple cards in it each day. I make a card things. This was a sweet little note that Brenda had made. Isn't that great? I love the birds on the branch. A little note card. You have a little stitched rectangle. Very cute, Brenda. Very nice. And I love my little gift. And I will make sure that I show it. Here's a card from Sandy. Sandy tried a little bit of a watercoloring um, technique on here. I love the little ribbon choice. I do love that black ribbon. 
Very pretty card. And uh, Christy McNeil. Beautiful card. Place don't even know until you have a child. You make the world a better place. She did a slip in on that. But kind of perfect for Mother's Day there, huh? Happy hearts, happy hearts. Love it. Oh, and Sherry Miller. Miss Sherry, she did a double diorama layer on her card. This is so good. Hey, Carol. Hey, Becky. Thanks for sharing. Glad you could join me on this Friday. And we also have some little um, droplets there and the fishies. A lot of work here. She has lots of layers of the dyes in here too. A couple different layers. That's a beautiful card. And oh, happy day, happy, happy day. This is from Teria Stewart. Our lovely plane in the rain. Oh, love it. And I like how she did the little um, spotlight spots. Very fun. Now, you know, I feel like I have more cards and I should have more cards. And I feel like I already brought some cards down. And then these were the ones I brought down off the upstairs table. But now I'm like, I don't know where they are. So that's what I'm sharing today. I'll save the others for next time. And hey, you guys. Oh, la, Tammy. You guys, you guys. Look at the paper pumpkin for June. The paper pumpkin for June is coordinating with the beautiful country in suite. The designer papers, that whole beautiful blues, kind of that French provincial feel. Isn't that awesome? Nine cards, three design each. You get a knight of navy spot. This uh, photopolymer stamp set. Um, knight of navy embellishments. A detailed vase and banner die cuts. Oh, how nice. And guess what? There is a little add-on like they had for the Sunshine where you can do a little $6 add-on and you get three um, dies. There's a vase die, a little flower, and a leaf die. Um, and that goes with being able to then die cut out little things from the designer series paper, but also then being able to re-stamp your vase and then die cut that out as well because there is a vase you can see in the kit. They're getting pretty good at sharing what uh, the kit's about, aren't they? So there's a beautiful vase, a couple of vases, and then there'll be a die for that that you can do an add-on for. Ooh, I love it. Yeah, it's gonna be great. So you have until June 10th, always, 10th of the month to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. Or if you're a subscriber, you can go ahead and and um, order your little add-on and you can also message me and talk to me about um, something that if you're interested in. hey I want to let you know about my nails I don't know if you'll be able to see it oh am I frozen I am frozen oh there I go <laughs> I don't know if you can see my nails you guys but my daughter and I went and had a manicure we went and got her wedding dress did a try on but it was the strangest thing. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. I'll try. But let's see. Can you see? I don't think you can see it. Maybe a little bit. So I guess I picked this one kind of gel polish that has a little like streak of a lighter of the color. Oh yeah, there you can see it. But how they get that effect is that when they're doing your nails, they put a magnet to the nail right above it and it pulls it pulls some of those color um, variations and does and pulls them in a to a line and it makes this really cool little effect i didn't even know that isn't that funny <laughs> well but thank you anyway enough about my nails right you guys want to get to stamping so I was excited to share about the paper pumpkin because we're all talking about how much we love that country in all of those beautiful blues. Um, so I cannot wait for the June kit. Oh my goodness. So now let's talk about what we're going to do tonight. 
we are going to be doing a technique called spotlight spotlighting technique and I got one of my baskets here full of goodies I want to focus and use this hope you know stamp set this is going to be a fantastic set um, in your collection because it is a, a a companion saying meaning that you have a sentiment for the front and then a sentiment that coordinates and goes on the inside for each of the sentiments so um, I love this one thinking of you today and the day after that and the day after that and the day after that so on as well as miss you um, truly deeply grateful goes with where is that one there's the may you find oh yeah anyway I'm sorry hello friends you are the sunshine my brain just um, got totally weird because wishing you comfort goes over here um, truly deeply grateful goes here with kindness my brain I just for some reason I thought they were going this way so sorry about that okay I have and this spotlighting technique is going to be really great when you have things like your circle punches if you have your um, dies like yours uh, layering squares layering ovals layering circles all of those kinds of dies work really well for um, spotlighting technique so I've got some goodies here and I'm gonna take them all out Oop, sorry about that now I have some water painters here I have some Stampin blends I also have my blending brush because I'm not quite sure yet I am going to be doing a little spotlighting with the berry harvest background stamp I have berry burst and lemon lime twist those are returning colors by the way <laughs> I also have basic gray and memento and it's a little bit extra there so my wonderful little dollar store baskets you guys I got these baskets at the dollar store and they are perfect for your project you know when you're working on a card project you can keep everything all right inside of them love it okay now you guys know when I do my big background stamps I just put it right inside the lid of the case I don't even put the sticker on it now I might want to in the future so it holds in there really well but I'm okay with not so when I was thinking about this is I wasn't sure if I wanted to stamp this background stamp in the black memento or do it with basic gray so I'm gonna do it in both and then you guys can just tell me which you think is better okay because I don't know if I want it real harsh but the berry burst and the um, lemon lime twist both are very vibrant colors so we might want to so here's our basic gray I've not used this stamp before just got of course so many of my things and some of you if you've gone on and placed an order you may even still be waiting for your order and Stampin' Up! is truly sorry about the delays that they're having but they are switching over um, to a new system for customer ordering and shipping and all of that but just in this transition time things are going a little slow so there's the pretty basic gray I'll put that against the lemon lime twist and then I'll put it here that's pretty very pretty but let's take a look and see how does that change if I then use memento because remember memento is black also if you're planning on using your stamping blends using the basic gray could cause you some bleeding issues although I have actually done that before with basic gray 
and I didn't have any bleeding issues with the Stampin' Blends. So there's a little, there's a little good news for you if you want to think about doing that. All right, and so here's our basic gray, and I really could do a better job of this right now by putting something else over top and not getting my fingers all icky, right? And then here's the black. Let's take a look. So there's our basic gray. And then, let me just lay it out like this. We've got it like this. Let me set that aside and close my stamp pad here. So there's our basic gray. I think that's nice, that's soft. It's not so bam in your face. And then here next to it, let's do the, oh now, mm, I'm thinking if I'm using such rich colors to color the berries and the, oh yeah, you know what you guys, I think you're gonna tell me already. Some are saying I like, well, somebody said I like the gray. Go ahead now, the way I have it sitting here. What do you think? I really do think it's going to have to be this bold, bold one. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think so too. Definitely. All right. Well, that's great. That's what we're going to do. So now that I've done this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my smaller two inch punch and I'm going to decide where do I want to punch out my berry focus. And I am going to punch out my berry focus. Let's see, where do I want to do this? Do I want it in the top of the card? Do I want it in the side of the card? Where do I want it? I think I'm gonna get this berry right here. Just kind of right like, I wanna be off to the side. So right there. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and take my, um, Lemon Lime Twist, and I'm taking my two and a quarter. Yes, Stampin' Up! doesn't sell these anymore. They do have that beautiful two and three eighths, and if you have the two and a quarter, you've got a great layering with the two and three eighths with the Circle Sayings bundle. So now what's gonna happen, you guys, is I've taken this piece out the reason why I didn't put another piece over top and just stamp it at the same time to then have a piece is because of the thickness differences. And this is going to go right over to give me a fun layer. And then this is going to come back in and line up to where it would have been, okay? Now, I don't even have to color that if I don't want to. I can just put that on my card front put a greeting on it and I could call my card done. And I'm not gonna do that, we need to color. So now, <clears throat> I have the stamp pads, and say I don't have the stamping blends, I can easily use my stamp pads, and I could do a squeeze. Yes, my daughter is getting married on December 2nd, Teresa. And I could bring in my blending, not my blending, uh, my blender pen, and I could just pick up color and color just like so. Okay? Squeeze the ink onto the lid, and then I can just go ahead and color that way. If I don't have my Stampin' Blends, you can do that. I can also, bring in my water painters, and I'm just gonna bring in an old water um, water painter, you guys. Uh, my other ones are empty, I don't have any water in them. And I could, oh, you've got 
color on there you shouldn't have on there. Hold on. Um, I don't have, I just don't have water in the other tubes and I didn't feel like filling them. <laughs> I was lazy. So then I could bring in and really not do any getting it super wet at all because I want to do just some coloring. And then I can come in and watercolor. Now, if you're going to do some watercoloring like this, you'll definitely want to use shimmer white or thick basic white. Just the standard basic white is not, um, not a good plan. It's just not as resilient and thick enough. Okay. All right. So we have that way of like a water coloring, right? So now we can let that dry and we can do more with it. But now I'm going to bring it in my stamping blends. And the thing about these are, these are really, really dark. You'll see how dark it is. But what I think is fun is take some of that fun water coloring that we just did and we get kind of this bold and bright um, pairing with it, which is really fun. Now I'm not going to use my dark at all at the moment. This is just the light and I'm just kind of tapping away in here. I'm even okay if it doesn't completely cover a berry, just so it can have some variation of depth. So boy, oh boy, we have in our, um, in our neighborhood, we have a, a park, Lake Symington, and in that park, there are just this wall of raspberry bushes all along the creek part of the lake area. And we will go down and we will pick and pick. And do you know, and you guys probably know if you've done picking um, berries, that once you start, you just can't stop. It is crazy. So then I'm just going to come in with the, the blend of the lemon lime twist and I'm going to get all the little green parts that are always under where the raspberry gets on the stem. And everything kind of stay in green here. I'm not even bringing in any brown for the branches. Just want to keep it kind of green. So there we have just such a great variations of color. Who'd have thought? Use your blending brushes. Use your water painter. Do a little water coloring. Use your bl blends. And you've got just this real different depth. These berries are like coming and popping right out. Oh, distracted by pizza, Veronica. Yum. <laughs> I asked my husband, I said, do you want me to get this dinner before or after my live? Now that's kind of wet. And what I like about this is once it dries, I can always go back in. But I am going to bring the dark in just for a second here. And I'm just going to come along in these little areas where I could give the berries a little more depth. And just so they look a little bit more like they're separated and they're actual little berries just by throwing a little bit of darker, just kind of giving some little dots. There we are. Oh, that'll be pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and let that sit while we think about what our sentiment's going to be on the inside and then what are we going to be putting here on the outside. This is going to layer just like that. It's going to line right back up to where it goes. And oh, excusez moi. S'il vous plaît. Notice I punched that out, but I can still use this piece. No need to waste it. Right? I don't need to waste another piece of cardstock. All right. And so now for this one here, when I bring this in, I think I would like to have the one that just says, Hello, friend, or thinking of you today. Oh, I think I like the thinking of you today. I like that one. Thinking of you today is what we're going to use. Now, what I'd like to do 
is I would like to do a little trimming. I'm going to make this strip that I have, I think I'm going to make it one or just three quarters or a half. I don't can't do a half. I got to do three quarters. Okay, three quarters. So then I'm going to do a lemon lime twist. Oh, but that's for the end. No, oh, this one. Here. And I am going to do that was three quarters, so I'll do one. And that one still, still no. That is that is new. That is that that's that's this one. All right, and I can bring it in like that. I'm even going to come a little tighter. didn't work. <laughs> How much do I need on this? I kind of need that whole thing. Okay. We'll stamp it and figure it out. Oh my goodness, Mary. All right. Thinking of you today. Boy, oh boy. There we go. Just having a hard time getting that to. Ink. There we go. All right. Now that I have that, what I wanted to do, I wanted to bring in this guy. You know, we do have some pick a banner things. I don't think this one is current, but that is okay by me. And I'm going to come in. And what I do is because this, I always look under here and then I just line things up punch just like so and I'd like to do that same thing on the other side so I'm just gonna trim just like that and bring it in line it up again and punch then I have that nice little thinking of you today And now, see, you don't want to do the white on white. That's why I wanted the lemon lime twist. So now I'm just going to bring this for the cutter since I can't seem to do calculations right now. And I'm going to just bring it in here. Where do I need to be? Just to have a little bit of a border, just a tiny little bit of a border. That's all I want. There we are. And then let's go ahead and do the same thing here. Note I'm giving a little bit of edge here because I want to do the same ticker ticket type of punch for it. So it needs to have a little bit of space to do that so it's not the same length, right? That's a little longer. It's kind of warm down in my stamping room, you guys. Hey, Tina. All right, so same thing. I'm going to bring it in. Just make sure you're working on the same side, <laughs> right? You don't want to all of a sudden give, uh, give little, little ticket ends to the... And there we go. Now we've got it. So we've got these two. You can see that they're a little bit longer on that end there, so that's perfect. that there. Now we can come in and I am going to just glue this to the back of the little guy here. 
Then I am going to glue this one down. And remember why there's the hole there is because that's where I punched out from our background stamp after I stamped. And it's going to be hidden, so that's a little saver for you. Then this is going to go down. Boop, just like this. All lined up nice. Now our wonderful, beautiful looking colored berries. They are vivid, aren't they? Now they would be, um, could get to be just as vivid if you used your ink pad and you used your water painters or the blending brush. You could layer those colors and get as vivid. And in fact, on here, I don't, I don't think my leaves are, are bright enough so I can come back in. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, even after I've watercolored, I can come in and I'm just going to do a bit of coloring, but just kind of sketchy and let a lot of the leaf of that watercolor underneath show. But just to give this a little more vibrancy of the leaves, you see there, you can still see the lighter layers of the watercoloring I had done, but then I just come in with the stamp and blend just to give it a little more brightness. So what, um, what other things for dinner then? We had distracted by pizza. Okay, now I gotta find where I belong. Found it. This right here helped me. There it is. So you line it up and yes, you're going to have this gap, right? But you can still just line it right up to those other leaves where they were. And there's our little spotlight there. And then this is going to come in. I think I'm going to have it come up under here. Oh my gosh. I glued that down so crooked, you guys. Hold on. Huffing technique. There we go. Let's like glue this down like straight. Oh my gosh, that was just terrible. All right. Now I said I had this really fun ribbon. This is the combo ribbon here that goes with the zany, the zany zoo characters. <laughs> Those are so fun. I could do a fun little something here with it, or I could just bring in this little striped, but I don't think this is a color I want to use. I could just bring it. Yeah, no, that's too, that's not right. That's just not right. Nope. I think I will use gems. I think those would just be fun. these purdies. Let's see, what do I want to use? These will be nice. Baked chicken with cooked zucchini mushroom. Oh, yum. Ooh, just got home, had Mexican. Yeah. You know, I really like Mexican food. I really, really do. But unfortunately, a lot of the times it gives me ind whoop, gives me indigestion. It's kind of hit and miss with it. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. Oh, 
these are all the same size. I didn't realize that. This doesn't want to pick up for me. My little gum at the end is... There we are. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? There's right there. All right. And then thinking of you today, remember I said these, this was a pairing stamp set. I'm just cleaning up a little bit here, you guys, so I can actually see where that stamp set went. <laughs> I got it. I got it right here. Thinking of you today, and it's the and the day after that, and the day after that, and so on. I love it. I think that is so great. So brand new, I don't even have them torn apart from each other or anything. All right. And the day after that, and the day after that, that is not on straight. There we go. Well, this card certainly has taken me a long time, you guys. And we need the Memento ink. There it is. Stump, stump, stump. Stump, 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 stump. And if I'm lucky, I have it on straight. Straight enough, my friends. Straight enough. Then, I think I'm going to pass on that. I was going to do a little bit of the raspberries right down there. You know what will happen if I try to do that. So I have a beautiful layering for the inside, you guys. Oh, there's our basic gray. That is so pretty, too. But we wanted our bold and vibrant, right? It's springtime. So my white piece here is three and three quarters by five because my green, my lemon lime twist is five and a quarter by four. That's a standard layer. Same thing on the front of the card. I have the same layers on the front, five and a quarter by four and then three and three quarters by five. So there is our spotlight of our berry berry harvest background stamp and then using our hope you know paired sayings so now i'm going to go ahead and put those things in the basket there i'm going to leave my sayings here because we are using those my punch and these two punches we might come back to the circle punches i'm not sure though but we'll see all right. Oh, got a little choppy there. Got a little choppy. Don't know why. So we'll set this card aside. And now I'm going to switch baskets, you guys. And I'm going to bring this basket here and just send things that way a little bit. All right. Now, I threw a couple things in here just because I was thinking of a sentiment for this one. So I was thinking, oh, you know, the Country Inn dies here. Could use this other, this smaller one, not this tiny little one, but the first layer there of the nested ones could be a, for a sentiment. Oh, I love this one here. This is the mark, Remarkably Made um, dies, but I love this one has the little torn edges. I thought that would be good. And then we have this great one, um, timeless arrangements that could be really great. There's the two and three here of these I thought could work out really well too. So I just grabbed those and said, well, we might use those. Now look at in here, you guys. Look at the colors I pulled and just look at the beautiful kind of, I, I just call it like seaside looking. I'm not sure what to call it, but it's just, oh, it's just so, so nice. I love these colors. 
So, let's see. Do you get an idea that I'm going to be coloring with uh, blending <laughs> blenders? I am, I am, I am. I am. All right. So I'm using the host set, the Calm and Quiet, and I don't know if you were at my um, YouTube Live open house. We, I talked about how it would be fun to do that technique of um, spotlighting. And I'm sorry, are you guys, are you getting glitchy on your end too? I, I'm, I'm kind of, look up and I'm, I'm glitchy. That's so weird. And so that's what I'm going to do here. We're going to spotlight. And oh my goodness, you guys, look how nice. This Lost Lagoon is with Pool Party. Look at how pretty these two layers are. Yeah, it does. It's very beachy, Brenda. But just how nice these little la this layer is. It's so pretty. You just kind of get that sea glass look happening. I just think it's so, so pretty. So I'm using that layer, and you'll notice there's kind of a theme of layering going on tonight too. And then I brought in Very Vanilla. I thought Very Vanilla goes so nicely with these types of colors. Um, so I'm gonna use that, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves a going. Oop, I gotta turn around and get my big block. <laughs> This one, yep. I know I got myself up in the little corner. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> All right, so I have this beautiful stamp. Remember, the ho this host stamp is um, just two stamps. You've got the little seabirds and the grass, and then this pretty one. This one would be so pretty for you doing watercolors with your water painters. Oh, it would be so nice. All right, we are going to ink up. And I am using the Memento ink because I will be using my stamping blends. So, and I'm gonna stamp this one time because I haven't before. Really wanna get my ink on here well. This is so pretty. Bring it in here. Push down that center. What I like about this Calm and Quiet, you can use the really pretty Hope You Know and you can make some really great cards for several different types of occasions and needs. It would be a perfect. I'm just so afraid to pull it up. I want it to be inked so well. Ready, set, go. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty, you guys. Look at how pretty that is. The detail on that, just beautiful. All right. So what I was thinking of this one, and I just wanted to check out and see, would an oval be appropriate for this? Or would the circle, or would this square? So I am just going to do a little thinking here. So that's an oval, and I don't know that I care for that. So there's an oval, you guys. You can tell me what you think of that, an oval. And then I would need the next oval for it would be, I would just do something like this. I wouldn't use the scallop. So that's the oval. I can take the oval aside and let's see what we think of circle. Your circle and then I would just find the next circle that layers with it which could be this one right here yep so that's the circle and then we have the squares 
this I don't I don't know how a square would be on here. You like the oval so far, Becky? Yeah, the oval because I think the the stamp itself is kind of elongated this way. The oval kind of naturally um, seems good. But now let's take a look just at our layering squares. This is what you do when you create, right? So here's our square. I don't know if I would use this big one. This big one. I might come down and use that because we are doing a spotlight. So there's that, and then this would be the layering square. So we had oval and oval. I'm going to bring the card base in and set it up on the card base too. Yeah, you know, I think the square gives it too much of a hard square look, right? Then our circles, very circly, and then our oval. I think the oval is going to win, you guys. The oval is going to win. Sorry, squares. Sorry, circles. You guys have your squares and your circles and your ovals at home? Now, the thing about this is that because this is four, uh, three and three quarters this way, I have to have my large standard stamp and cut and emboss. Oh, my plates are up here, sorry. All right, so what we're gonna do is not use three plates. Oh my gosh, I don't need all three of those. <laughs> and you guys can't see a thing. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna just go ahead and lay this up here, get my smaller oval. And I wanna make sure I get the whole seat, right? Don't wanna cut the seat off. There we go. Very nice. We'll pop that right out of there. And this is what I got. I think that'll be a great um, spotlight. And then we're going to do the same thing, but now I'm going to use the layering oval that's just layers right with it. It'll give it a nice. A nice edge on it and remember I'm gonna use the same piece of pool party as the layer it will have the oval cut out but that's not gonna bother a thing I just don't need to use a whole nother piece right so there's our two pieces and go ahead and put this back down There we go. Looks kind of funny, doesn't it? <laughs> there. Looks like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just I'll glue these two together. Mm. There we go. All right, still with me here, guys? Brenda, you smiling. Oh, you like the oval too? Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna bring in crumb cake. Which one is this one? That's light crumb cake, dark crumb cake. That's good. I'm gonna start with my dark. I'm gonna come in Get 
the underside of our chair here. Very carefully. Should use some of my pen part. Then I'm just going to come in and give some darker lines here. Then the light crumb cake is going to come in. Stampin' Blends are so forgiving. I love them. There we go. Now this color I have is light gray granite. And since we have some of the pebbles and rocks in our spotlight, we need to color them, right? So I got some of those there. I think there's even a little bit of them here. Got those. I also have, um, light mint macaron and dark mint macaron and yes i know the macarons are no more <laughs> but i'm okay with that i'm okay with using my macaron and i'm just touching a little bit for the little bit of grasses that's it i don't need to have it be all that so now i brought in let me see light soft suede and dark soft suede that's pecan pie, there's dark, and here's the, and pecan. I wanted to see about our new pecan, pecan, pecan. Do you guys say? Yes, it is, Brenda. This is a new hostess set. Um, it is called Calm and Quiet. So if when you put in an order, or if you're a hostess, and you, you, know, you get your rewards, you can, you can order this. I wanted to see about that color, what kind of color it gives. That's the pecan pie, and this is the soft suede. I just wanted to see which one was gonna complement a little bit more with my chair. I think I'm gonna go with the pecan pie, actually. I need to use the dark. Use the dark first. come in here and all this. I'm just doing some of the hatching that they're doing, just whatever lines they have there. We got kind of shadow lines happening. So just do these funky lines. And I know it looks like, whoa, Mary, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's okay. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> now we're going to come in with the light. And now we're just going to fill in. all around gotta watch what you're doing here you don't want to actually get the chair sorry you guys gotta sit here and watch me color I could have had one done up huh Remember when you're using your blends too, you guys, you don't want to be pushing that tip down. Just giving a little darkening right here. Just coming back so we can see the difference between the chair and the deck. Almost made a big boo-boo. There we go. 
And then our pretty blue, we have, oh, I brought in balmy blue. I don't want balmy blue. Oh, Arr. no, you guys, I'll be back. I thought I had grabbed the blues that I have here, but I had not. Lost Lagoon will be too dark. So pool party is definitely what we want. Dark pool party and light pool party. So let's bring our dark in. I do like to go with my dark first, you guys. And I always will just do those shaded lines And then I'll come in with the light. The grass looks very close to pool party. But I can bring in my Lost Lagoon. Where's the light? Because I can do the grasses in that Lost Lagoon color. Because the grass looks too much like the, the water now. you guys and we have a coffee mug I am gonna bring in this yellow what is this oh lemon lolly oh I don't know about that I think I'm gonna make the coffee mug the same color as the grass what do you guys think there we go oh that's so pretty 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 and then that's gonna go on just like that So my Stampin' Saturday, you guys, I will have one more spotlight card that I'm going to do. You know, it would really help if I uh, glued things down correctly. <laughs> it's like, I have that crooked. It's like, really? But I'll do another spotlight. Um, on Saturday, just do another, and I'm going to use the square dies for that one. Just, you know, that spotlight technique is just kind of fun. It's that whole idea of where do you want your focal point? Where do you want eyes to go? Whoops, don't want to do that. So we have this glued down. Always talk about that with your, you know, the focal point of where you want the eye to go. And when you have lots of busyness, in a card, you need to have something that's going to pull the viewer's eyes to that spot. And that's what spotlighting does. So now I'm just going to come. I'm using my line right here to line up. There we go. That's pretty. That's so pretty. And then I'm going to come in and grab... Hello friend right there. This does not need me to do any cutting out a sentiment and anything like that. I'm just going to stamp it right here. When I have my stickers on, I will be able to see if it's straight quickly, but I don't have the stickers on. There's my hello friend. And, oh, 
my vanilla for the inside. Oh, goodness. So hello, friend. You are the sunshine that brightens so many days. And you guys, I'm going to give away my two cards tonight. So, ha, ha, ha. Very dreaming and relaxing. You betcha. Just have to make sure when you don't have those stickers on that your sentiment's not upside down. But this will not be a problem because I could just turn it over, right? Or could I? No, I don't know. I, no, I couldn't. It wouldn't work. You are the sunshine that brightens so many days. Just lovely. And I love the font. I love that the fonts are different for each of the types of sentiments. Just so nice. Now this one here, I don't have an additional layer, but I still cut my vanilla down so I could have a larger border around. Kind of gives that same effect of having like another card layer without actually putting another card layer. It's kind of fun. All right. Now the only thing I was going to do and I wanted to share with you guys is this is the Lost Lagoon ribbon. How pretty is that? It's so nice and it's it's got this beautiful texture. It's almost like linen um like linen pants or something. It's just really nice. I thought about using it for this, but then I decided, no, I wanted to kind of keep it just clean soft and beachy as Brenda said it was beachy all right oh boy so the two cards that got created tonight so very nice work they came out well it was all in my head right I don't I don't usually pre-make the cards I just kind of have them in my head and put everything all together and every once in a while I'll have I'll have pre-made them. But yeah, so I'm going to pull somebody to get these two cards. Why is, are those crooked? That is so funny. Why are you crooked? Okay, where's my book? Now, I just need to make sure, you guys, that I got to everybody. Because some people came in and I didn't have them. And if you're not on right now, that's fine. If I still pull. <laughs> All right. So let's see, we had um, Carol came in. Oh yeah, also you guys, um, from the open house, I know I need to message a couple of you because you won prizes. Oh hey Becky, I got get your name down too. Um, got prizes but um, haven't filled out the prize patrol, uh, the prize cafe treats form. And that needs to get done because door I can mail out. Okay, I think I got everybody. I think I got everybody. I think I got everybody. Tina, did I get Tina down? Oh, nope. Tina, oh no. Carol, Char, got Char. Got Tammy. Tammy, Tammy, Tammy. Oh, Tammy, I didn't get your name down. Okay, let's do this. Let's see who's going to win. win the two cards oh, maybe i should do two winners and you one one will each get one card let's do it that way yeah i do love that so becky you know if you want to do a, a facebook party or something put it out there and this and that and people place orders and everything then you can earn the stamp set all right so we have oh no I gotta take these numbers out, you guys. I gotta take these numbers out. I gotta take the numbers out that are too big. Too big. I'm so sorry, you guys. All these big numbers are coming out. Okay, I got one. There's a six. We got a six. And we got a one. Ooh, one and a six. Let me see, let me see. Miss Teresa was the first one that I saw. Teresa, or think um, the, tonight. Teresa, do you want the berries or the dock? Oop, I gotta get all the way down here. I 
got you, Susan. I got you down here. You're my number three, Susan. I got Teresa, Linda, Susan, Shara, Brenda, Maria, Carol, Becky, then Veronica, Tina, and Tammy. Teresa, do you want the berries or the this one? You like them both. Doc? Okay. That's yours. And now number six, one, two, three, four, five. Maria, Maria, Maria. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, Maria. This one's yours. All right, you guys, you don't need to do a cafe form for that. I can, I can figure that out. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, so hey, you guys, just remember the fantastic um, June paper pumpkin. Hello, right? That's going to be so cool. The country in coordinating, and then you can get the little add on things. So, subscribe by the 10th of the month in June, and then you can also get the little add on. Here's the problem the add ons are gone when they're gone. So, if you're wanting to get the add on, but you're, you know, the minute you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, you can go and order the add on. But you know what, you guys, to order the add on, you got to pay the shipping of like whatever the, right, the shipping is that they charge. And so, like, I just bought something that was $7.95 shipping. I would suggest if you're going to do the add-ons, you know, throw a couple other things in your order, right? So, anyway, I am frozen on my end. How funny is that? Well, that's it, you guys. Congratulations to my couple winners for the cards that we did tonight. I hope you like the spotlighting. Be sure to check out my recorded Saturday Stampin' video. I'll have another spotlight card for you there. And until next time, you guys, happy stampin'.